In order to help us calculate the number needed to harm, let's imagine that a group of people were exposed to a risk factor. The plus signs represent those who were exposed, while the minus signs represent those who were not. The character icons that are red represent those who developed a condition of interest, while the icons that are white represent those who didn't. Counting the character icons, we find that 6 people who were exposed to the risk factor developed the condition, whereas 8 people who were exposed did not. Out of those who were not exposed, 4 people developed the condition and 10 didn't. In total, 14 people were exposed and 14 people weren't. To calculate the number needed to harm, we no longer need the data found in boxes B and D. The number needed to harm is calculated by dividing 1 by the attributable risk. If you can recall, the attributable risk is calculated by subtracting the incidence of the condition in those who are exposed by the incidence of the condition in those who are not. The incidence of the condition in those who are exposed is calculated by dividing A by A plus B, while the incidence of the condition in those who are not exposed is calculated by dividing C by C plus D. Now by adding the correct values into the equation and doing a little bit of math, we find that the number needed to harm is 7. Once more, the number needed to harm is calculated by dividing 1 by the difference in instance of the condition in those who are exposed to a risk factor by the instance of the condition in those who are not.